Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk back with an, again with another project for you and this time it's a double tic-tac treat holder. Um, I love Tic Tacs. We get some great flavours here in the UK and I spotted these ones called Strawberry Fields, you can see here. Um, and this is a lovely little project for craft fairs with just as a little bit of a gift um, and it holds two packs of Tic Tacs. Um, just with a little belly band closure um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's just a little bit of fun really. Uh, what it is using though is some retiring products, fruit basket, um, this punch which has these beautiful little fruits in, um, so it coordinates with some punches which are these ones here, we've got a strawberry, there's a pear, there's a little pineapple punch, so you can just punch out little shapes anyway or you can obviously stamp them and it also coordinates with this lovely tutti fruity paper which has lots of fruit themed images as well as on the reverse some great everyday ones um, I've actually ordered it's not like me I've ordered an extra pack of this um, because I thought that's great fun and I'm going to use that for lots of um, treats and um, and this is a little bit of a naughty treat but hey do you know what we can't always be good all of the time so this is what we're going that's what we're going to make um, our little tic tac treat holder um, and it is really simple to make so we're going to start off with a piece of, I'm going to use the same colour, Lemon Lime Twist, fabulous um, colour to use. Um, and this is a piece of card that is seven and a quarter by two and three quarter inches. And I've deliberately made that a little bit taller than our Tic Tacs, so that there, um, there's a little bit of a gap top and bottom. As you can imagine, it is really simple scoring. Um, there's more of the work goes into the... Um, uh, the, the, the cutting of the different parts, um, the different bits of DSP. So um, I'll put the measurements on in centimetres as well on my blog, but it is quite simple. One and a half inches, two and one eighth. Hopefully, yes, you can see that. Let me just zoom out very slightly so you can see my lovely messy desk. Um, five and one eighth. and uh, five and three quarters. So again, we're avoiding the horrible bit on the join. That's all of your scoring. And once you have scored that, uh, use a corner rounder um, and you can get these um, from, you know, all over the place. This is a pro um, an old Stampin' Up! Project Life one, but you can get big corner rounders as well, um, big sort of chompers. Um, and just round the edges of that. And that's our basic little wrap. And if you're doing craft fairs, it's a fabulous little way of, of upselling. We get these in here um, in this size. They're about four for a pound. Uh, it's about, they have like a, a pound shop. Um, then you're going to need to cut some um, DSP. Now the front is one and three eighths wide. So I'm going to cut at one and three eighths. And then cut two pieces that are two and five eighths. And as I said before, I usually cut from the bottom up when I'm doing those. So those are our two front pieces, which we'll need to corner around. I've actually decorated the sides on this, just to finish it off. Um, so those are half an inch wide, so we're just going to cut at half an inch on this side. Cut it off the bigger piece. And then again, two and five eighths for those. and cut from the bottom up so it's pushing up against that little bar, like so. Then we need two internal pieces which are two and a quarter by half an inch. So again, we're going to cut our half inch first. It's much easier to cut half an inch off a big piece of paper by two and a quarter. Oh, actually it might be two. I'll try two and three eighths actually. Might, uh, I think it is actually. Two and a quarter or two and three eighths, it will fit. I can always trim it down by hand. So those are our internal. So I'm just going to keep those off to one side. Then for our, um, we're going to need a, a belly band in effect, and we're going to need two internal strips to hold. Um, and I've already pre-cut those. Um, but those, the, the wrap, this longer piece, is eight and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. 
and then the inside um, holders are three quarters of an inch as well but they're by seven inches so what I did was I just cut three strips of three quarters of an inch off a sheet of A4 and then trimmed them down to size so trim her away onto the construction so always easier to put um, and I usually forget always easier to put your, your DSP on while things are flat um, so I'm going to just corner around these pieces and pop those on and again it's flat so when it's flat cardstock and there's no curl pressure on it then it's um, just use a snail use our fuse well if it happens to be handy when I'm doing a video um, So we do get some great flavours. Um, I just happened to have this pick up the strawberry ones because um, I knew I'd got this sort of strawberry themed paper. But they do some lemon and lime ones, which would be great with the kind of kiwi fruit type image. So that would be good fun as well. Um, I've, I say I've deliberately made these kind sort of quite wide because I want to make sure that they, they work. Now, um, with these, you could score them if you wanted to. I don't. All I do is I just put them and fold them round not too tight because you don't want them to be too too tight and once I've folded them you can just crease those um, and you'll see there you know you won't get them quite straight so if you just line up like so that's one do our next one exactly the same just in the middle and bring those round it just needs to be it needs to be sort of tight enough to hold it in place but so you can still slide in and out um, and I'm saying these are great little and you know you can change these up so that they're sort of Christmas themed um, I say I like the little belly band to kind of keep it closed I just think it gives it gives a better effect um, and then while that's in there I'm then going to use this is one of the occasions when I will use my fuse I'm just going to pop a bit of fuse or you could use a glue dot just to wrap around there my second pack I'm, I'm actually working with three packs you might have guessed um because my son spotted them and raided them not unusual <laughs> there are lots of things which kind of make it uh, home for crafting and i come and do my crafting and i'm like where's that gone then and it's uh, there's some sheepish looks all i need to do now is just line those up in the middle I'm popping some fuse on the back lining it up and then just tucking that in like so pressing those down you'll see now the, the bottom bit will always come in because they're not absolutely 100% square but don't worry about that because with your belly band you won't notice that difference and then all I'm going to do is pop these little pieces was I right with two or three eighths I could have made it a little bit wider actually, but never mind. Okay. It might have been. Uh... Actually, I quite like that. I do like, I love this lemon lime twist colour. Uh, I will be very sorry to see it go. Uh, fortunately, we've got it around for another 12 months yet. And then this, you do the same process with the belly band. So for the belly band, I'm going to just wrap it around like so. And then again, just take it off um, and just pinch those rough score lines. And then I say a bit of fuse and pop that round, making sure you put the fused end on top. And I say, and don't make it too tight. There we go. And then on with our decoration, which is as simple as anything. So a little bit of Whisper White, um, a little scrap. Um, I'm going to use my one and an eighth punch, scallop punch, lovely scallop, to create our background. I'm going to stamp our little hello. Uh, in, 
real red. Those are the real red strawberries. And that's the other thing about this. There's some cute little sentiments. And that's um, just going to be punched out using a one inch punch. to one side. I'm going to stamp out three little pairs. No, nope, I'm going to stamp some strawberries. <laughs> I was thinking pears. I haven't got pears on here. Okay, the woman's losing it. It's because I've got pears on this scrap of paper here. Uh, that's, that's for another project I'm going to be doing. So just a couple of strawberries here. Then lemon lime twist to the top. And I always stand up to do this and look down um, I would normally say use on a photopolymer stamp, use a, um, a stamping pierce mat or if you've got a little scrap of foam like this. Um, but these are so small that to be honest with you, you don't need to do it. Um, you'll get a, a really good impression anyway. Then you come in with these cute little punches and look how sweet is this. You've got a lovely little strawberry there. And because they, they punch slightly smaller, so you know you're not going to have any white edges showing, which is great for me. Um, I've got some mini dimensionals here, which I'm going to use on the back there. Downside of doing dinky things on a video is that you, tend, you can guarantee you end up being all fingers and thumbs. Just pop that in the middle there. Just going to pop my I'm going to pop my strawberry there to cover up the smudge from my finger. And this one down here. And just a little bit of glue on there. There's my hello. And then if you want to add on extra embellishments, as I did, um, I used some lemon lime twist to create some little lime slices. But what I did was I stamped off very slightly first on a little bit of scrap to get a lighter lime twist. And so that I could then use the same lemon lime twist standing up again to create the darker lime for the outside um, rather than using a different colour and that just, just shows that you know you, you uh, the great thing with the stamping spots is that you can get lots of different colours without spending a fortune which is a real bonus when you're when you're sort of new and you're building up your stash um, the only thing I would say on this when you add your extra little lemon slices or your lime slices um, it is better if you put them above the belly band so that when you pull the belly band off, you don't pull your, your slices off as well. So I'm just going to pop one there or obviously put it on the belly band itself. And again, you can decorate as much or as little as you like. I found this is great to do with kids because they love the cute little punches. But if you want them, get them before the end of the month because they are retiring. So there you go. A quick double tic-tac holder and um, that you can coordinate with whatever happens to be inside. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, I'm going to have to buy some more tic-tacs to fill this one up I think. Um, come back and see me again soon. If you'd like any of the products that you've seen today pop along to my Stampin' Up shop heidismith.stampinup.net or um, visit my blog and follow the links from there flutterbyheidi.co.uk. Bye now, come back soon.